Hey everyone, uh, this is Frumple here, and welcome to my new Minecraft world. Uh, in this world, I decide to start building, or at least start building the framework for, a new modern city. So as you can see here, I flattened out the ground uh, using MC Edit, and this is where I'm going to put my uh, buildings and uh, uh, streets, but there's nothing much here at the moment. Uh, also over here I've got my minecart rapid transit station ready to go. Uh, what I'm planning to do is build a brand new line uh, just like my first video and it'll go straight through the city uh, down this main street and into lands beyond. But right now there are only three stations and it's incomplete right now. And anyway, uh, that's not what this video is about. Um, when I was thinking of building the city I wanted to build a centerpiece structure, uh, a sort of an iconic building that um, people would be able to identify the city with. And that building is over to my left, right over here. Behold, the Braun Llama Dome. Now if you've ever played the game SimCity 2000, uh, you'll recognize this structure. Uh, basically when you play the game and get a city of at least 90,000 citizens, uh, you'll get this as a reward building and all it really is is it's, it's just a observation deck a tower with an observation deck on the top and that's for where tourists can go up there and look at some spectacular views of your city so um, yeah let's go inside here oh, also I'll mention uh, if you notice the lights up there do in fact work uh, it's powered by redstone and it took me a while to get it working in such a cramped space uh, so I'll show you some maybe some of the circuitry a little bit later so um, yeah let's take a look up here so, yeah, uh, I use iron blocks to sort of emulate the lattice structure it sort of looks like what you'd see in the uh, Eiffel Tower but I'm no architectural expert um, alright so over here we got the uh, ladder that goes up to the top of the tower. Now, in real life, um, in these towers usually employ elevators to bring people up to the top. So I can actually, I'm going to actually pretend <laughs> that this is an elevator by actually walking backwards into the ladder, as you'll see in a moment. Going up. Do 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 do. I think we're coming up to the first level here. Oh, here we are. Oh, oh, the elevator's broken. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, here we are on the lower level. This is the lower part of the uh, dome that you saw atop there. So, there's not much to see here. There's the glass floor, which you, and that's just to show some nice views of down below. So, there's my two stations there some more landscape. Yep. Also on this level is some is the redstone circuitry for the lower side of the dome. So you can see there it's blinking. It's a basically a uh, redstone, a really large redstone clock. It's about, I don't know, 16 or uh, torches around or even more than that I think. So yeah you can see they're blinking on and off and doing their thing. So there's not much. So let's go up to the top level, the next level up here. Uh, oh too much. There we go. So this is the main observation level. Um, so it, it has also some nice views as well. And also some amenities, which I'll show you in a moment here. So let's uh, take a nice look at the east here. There we go. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this thing here. This is the Skyline Bar and Grill. Uh, you might recognize it from my first video. Um, they used to be located at the Central Valley Junction. But now I've moved them to some new accommodations up here. So you can see here there's some tables, uh, some seating at the bar, and some stuff. They say they're fully equipped for serving their customers. All right, so yeah, you always need a restaurant in these sort of tourist attractions. Um, I will go on, to, on the other side, of the, that's on the east side of the dome, on the west side of the dome there's the uh, Sim Souvenirs gift shop. Now no tourist attraction is ever complete without a place for tourists to spend their money. So here we got some gold and iron trinkets, a uh, bit of a florist area here. 
Uh, compasses, clocks, music discs, some bookshelves. Yep, all the things you'd expect from a tourist trap like that. Okay, and the other last amenity I'll show you here is um, this thing, Billy Bob's Bungee Jump Center. Um, if you ever play in the game in the SimCity 2000, you'll probably notice that there's a little count for bungee jumps in uh, in the game, and uh, you can see here it's one jump for five gold, and you get a free wedding voucher with every every jump. And I'll I kind of explain that later once we go up to the wedding chapel. So. Now, unfortunately, I haven't seen any, um, uh, I think we just got bungee jump mods available from Minecraft. Um, there are, be sure to let me know. So I'm going to sort of emulate the bungee jump by using this fishing rod. Oh, maybe I can get that pig. Hmm. No, I don't think it's going to work. It's a bit long there, but yeah, it's sort of, okay. Whee! Okay, I wish I had some mobs to test it on, but oh well. All right, so I'm done with that. So let's go up to the next level. Uh, let's go up to the upper level right over here. Now this is just this. Here's the upper level. This is this uh, is actually where I put all the red redstone circuit circuitry for the stuff on top. So I sort of had to sort of fit these in, fit this in in this sort of um, tight level here. So here's a tourist information desk. And over here, you can sort of see some of the redstone circuitry. Uh, also, there are some restrooms because when you gotta go, you gotta go. So here's the toilet here. Yep, nothing really special there. All right, so yep, not much on this level. Uh, but here we are. Up, here's the very top. Here's the uh, chapel of the Bron Lama Dome. Uh, you'll see that's uh, Mr. R Reverend McNoodle's wedding chapel. And you get a free bungee jump voucher of every wedding. Now, if you remember that if you get it by a bungee jump, you get a free voucher of weddings. Um, in SimC 2000, the counts for weddings and the counts for bungee jumps are mysteriously the same. So, and I think I read somewhere on the website, I'll probably post it with along this video, that that's the explanation that the, the game developers made that, you know, they, they gave each other free vouchers and. That's how they promote their business. So, yep. So, yep, I go around here and I declare you a uh, cow and chicken, or whatever else, whatever uh, other arrangement you want to go for, I guess. So, yeah, um, some pews there. Oh, and uh, there's a door. Oh, and here comes the clouds. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> the way it works is the, uh, if you're playing on the. Um, I'm playing on fast graphics here, so the clouds actually intersect here. If you play on fancy graphics, I think the clouds are a bit lower, but unfortunately there's no way of dealing with that. So I'm gonna, oops, actually just some emergency exit doors in case you don't want to get married. Um, sorry, I gotta, there we go. <coughs> yeah, you can jump to your death, I guess, if you're that scared of getting married. Um, <laughs> So yeah, here's the uh, very top of the dome, and oh, there's there's the redstone circuitry from the upper level I was mentioning. They're blinking on and off. And unfortunately, I c on the very top there is also a it doesn't the red there's a little tower there that uh, doesn't blink, but I probably won't show you in this video. It's not that interesting. So uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. All I want really want to show you here. Um, well, folks, uh, thanks for watching my video. Um, I've posted the uh, Minecraft save file to the video descriptions, and, as well as an MC Edit schematic, so you can use those to play around with the uh, dome there. Um, also, I will be posting some more videos about the Minecar Rapid Transit Station uh, in the future, so stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching.